and nephews. You like, there's got so my many blood running through you so, and your daddy blood. How you gonna have with somebody else's child out here? So I'm supposed to be with somebody that I don't love so you could be happy. I, you damn right. You damn well, right. How does that work? It works just fine for me. Okay? So she wants to put me out of her house. Yes, you won't get the stepping if you don't get your man come up in here so, and create me a baby. So then what am I supposed to do, Mom? You room it out, out the house because of who I'm dating? Yes, yes, I do. And then what am I supposed yes, to do? For you me? do what you want to do when you out my house, but long as you in my house, you going to have a decent relationship. But the thing this is, come Mom, from the old school, baby. The old school. What I'm talking about is a man and a woman procreate and they have babies. Not a woman and a woman, okay? Y'all can't have babies together, don't you understand? But she is a better partner than I've ever had in my entire life. Not but I'm supposed to be with name. somebody that I don't want. But not by my She has name. treated me the best that I've ever had in my whole life, Mom. But you want me to go and settle and be with somebody that I don't love. Yeah, That's well, what you prefer. Guess what? You gotta grow to love people, okay? You gotta get okay. to know the person. Okay. All right? You ain't even getting no man no chance. All right. How are you supposed to love a man? You ain't even let a man in your life. You just saw this woman. This woman supposed to give you everything. No, ma'am. Not in this house. Not under my roof. No, ma'am. Try right. again. So can I ask you a question? No, how ask me. I'm going to tell you. Are you happy? I'm wonderfully happy. Me and your daddy been married for 23 years. It's, it's been good all 23 all years? All 23. We have our ups and downs, and you know that. Okay. But you here. You here. Ain't you? Yes, you are. So I need you to do this. I need you to find you a decent husband, and I need you to bring him you up in my house. You can let that go, Ma, because I'm so not having I a husband. So I can have some children. Some I'm not married, I'm well, you Shalom. Before I get started with this lesson, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and that rule well. And peace and salutation to the elect that's out here labored in all truth and sincerity to USA Shalom. This is Brother Amon Ariyah from GMS Charlotte coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Makakwadash. And pretty much in this lesson, I want to go into this video that you saw play at the beginning of the lesson. You know, I found that video off of World Star Hip Hop. And pretty much it was this woman who was kicking her daughter out of her house because she found out that she was a, a lesbian. All right. And in the video, you could hear pretty much the pain in, in the mother's voice because she was, you know, pretty much upset that her daughter is choosing to be with a woman, you know, instead of finding a, a, a man. So that she can bring her forth, you know, grandchildren. And, you know, this is just one of many examples of why Babylon the Great needs to be destroyed. Because, see, Babylon pushes forth this confused, you know, degenerate lifestyle, especially upon the children. You know, and we're in the, uh, in the time now to where this is becoming the norm amongst, you know, the young generation, man. I believe they said that that around um, I think like seventy percent, or it's probably higher than that, but pretty much seventy percent of you know Gen Zers identify as Alphabet man, and that's that's due to Babylon the Great. All right, matter of fact, let me turn this on because I I don't want this to end. So give me one second, Salakia. All right. So yeah, so this is due to to Esau pushing this narrative on our people. All right, and it's mainly targeted towards Jake, and it's the younger generation of Jake, man. All right, and this is one of the reasons why Yahweh Bashimi Shah told us. All right, let me read this real quick in Micah chapter two, verse ten. It says, "Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest." Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction, right? And Babylon, the great America, all right, is not our rest, Jake. And when I speak of Jake, I'm talking to you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, man. All right? This place was, was uh, designed to destroy the Israelites, man. That's why everything that's pushed upon, you know, Jake, black culture, 
you know, a uh, 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 Mexican culture, Native American culture. It's all designed to destroy you. All right. And like I said, this this video was, was you know, low key kind of depressing because this is, is one of the reasons why, you know, uh, uh, the Lord told us not to have children here, man. All right. And for for Akium, you know, and uh, and Akwakium that that don't have children here, man, to the best of your ability, you know, don't try to uh, let that happen, man, because you got to deal with situations like that, man. All right. And personally speaking, that's one of the, the, the fears that I have, you know, of why I don't want children here, man, because hey, that that that's a uh, a stain, you know, to your uh. You know, to your name, man. Having a a, a child that's a a mo or, or a lesbo, man. You know, no no true parent wants that, man. And and the, the reaction that that woman was given to her daughter, man, was it was legitimate because nobody wants that. Because at the end of the day, the whole point of creation was to bring forth more creation, man. That was the first commandment that was given. Unto mankind, man. Let me get that real quick, man. You know, but Esau, through his fucking, you know, pseudoscience, through his, you know, witchcraft, he has normalized, you know, Moism to where these people don't look at that as anything wrong anymore, man. All right. But back in the days, like you heard, like you heard uh, the, the, the mother say, she from the old school, man. Hey, back, you know, uh, in the day, man, being a Mo, that was frowned upon, man. All right. This is Genesis 1 and 22. It says, and God blessed them saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let the and let the fowl multiply in the earth. And in the evening and in the morning were, were the fifth day. And God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind cattle and creeping thing and beast of the earth and after his kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind and the cattle after their kind and everything that creeps upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. Right. And so. We jump down. Um, it says uh, verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air. And over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image and in the image of God created he him male and female created he them. And God blessed them and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moved upon earth. All right. And that's why Yahweh Shimei Shah created us to have sex, man. That's why that that uh that orgasm I right, feels so good because it, it's a reward system to continue to reproduce, man. And and animals show you that perfectly, man. All right. Animals you you, you don't see, you know, in a natural habitat a homosexual animal, man. All right. But we now have that due to Esau, you know, chemically altering, you know, the Lord's creation, man. It's it's a a, a chemical, I believe it was called uh, astrazine, where you had this Jake scientist, you know, uh, bring it out to where Esau was literally chemically uh, castrating and, and changing the sex of frogs to where the frogs became homosexual, man. Same thing with lions and, and different animals, man. Esau literally created you know, that chemical to make everything gay. They, they literally have a gay bomb, man. But see, the Lord created everything to reproduce, man. All right. That's how things uh, 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 replenish the earth, man, through, you know, different, uh, you know, beings pretty much laying with each other's kind, man. All right. There was no crossbreeding, man. All right. And uh, uh, same sex marriages can't reproduce, man, which is why the most High frowned upon that, man. And that's why there's laws in the Bible against that man all right because the most high wanted us to reproduce all right as i said he created man and female adam and eve but you know you have that that saying in the world 
You know, Esau made it's Adam and Steve, man. No, it's man and woman. All right. A man has a penis and a woman has a vagina for the sole purpose of reproducing. All right. So that the man, when he inserts his rod into a woman's vagina, all right, he he uh, he lets off his seed, which is that sperm, which the Lord puts the spirit, you know, once that seed, you know, uh, attaches to that woman's uterus. All right. For that child to be born, man. That's how, you know, uh, uh, mankind continue uh, continues to be brought forth in the earth, man. But see, he has he has changed the whole concept of how marriage and love and everything works now, because through his witchcraft and pseudoscience, yeah, these people think that, you know, uh, uh, marriage is supposed to be about love, you know, that feeling. No, that that's witchcraft, man. OK, because according to your how about Shimei was shy's laws, man. All right. Homosexuals are supposed to be put to death, man. And that's what the Bible says, man. All right. The most high frowned upon, you know, uh, uh, homosexuality. That's why Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed by fire, man. OK, because that's all that was going on through Sodom and Gomorrah, man. All right. So let's get the law real quick, man. This is Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. OK. And this is why you have to teach your children if you're able to, if you have them. All right. You know, that that's a uh, that's a wrong practice, man. That's not love, man. That's a sickness. That's that's demonic because those, you know, uh, those are demons that are on these people to make them attracted to the same sex, man. You know, but Esau through, you know, uh, Tom has has manipulated that to where that's that's uh, that's not frowned upon because especially amongst, you know, the so-called black community. All right, it used to be back in the day where if, uh, if, if somebody saw two men together, that was disgusting. But see, Jake, you know. Jake would accept seeing two women lie together, you know, but when it came to two men, that was looked at as disgusting. But now, all right, Jake, Jake is, you know, uh, uh, participating in that nastiness, man. You know, you got a lot of, you know, uh, uh, DL men, you know, men that are, you know, uh, 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 you know, dip their toe in, in, in both, you know, pools, you know, all that, that nastiness, man, which is spreading diseases, man. But that wouldn't take place if the laws was in, in, in intact because those that nationalists will be put out of Israel, man. All right. That would be a public, you know, uh, 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 you know, judgment that everybody had to come in and witness, man. All right. Those those modes were put to death, man, for all to see so that that wickedness could be put out of Israel, man. All right. And, and the Lord made it very plain. On that not uh, that not being a thing, man. All right. Like I said, this was public. Okay. This is Deuteronomy twenty three and seventeen. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Okay. So hey, your your women, you're not supposed to be whores, and you men are not supposed to be moles. But here in today's society, both are uplifted and praised. All right. Hey, uh, uh, being a, a mo, you're you're looked at as as being brave for coming out the closet. Being a whore instead of being a, sh a shame faced, it you're praised, man. But do both of those are abomination to your how about Shem was shy, man. Okay, because the Lord, you know, has a standard that He set up for His people. All right, and us being Israelites, man, we're supposed to hold ourselves to a higher uh, a court. You know, a higher decorum, you know, than the rest of the heathen, man. Because really, when you get into it, these practices of being a whore and a sodomite, these are actual, you know, uh, uh, out of worship practices that are uh, being done, man. All right. You know, the uh, uh, queen of heaven, you know, that that's uh, that spirit requires women to pretty much be whores, man. OK, you know, you you're in, in, in certain customs. You weren't considered a woman. Unless you had a train ran on you, man. And what is that? What is that uh, being shown in today's society, man? All right. Hey, you women could pretty much sleep with whoever you want. All right. Body counts. All, all that don't matter anymore, man. It's it's about, you know, having the freedom of choice, which literally down the road will destroy a woman, man. OK, 
because you you maintain the spirit of every man that you sleep with. And so all those different spirits are, are pretty much, you know, uh, inside of a woman, which causes her, you know, to have different personalities, man. This is why you have, you know, uh, that, that term bi uh, being bipolar. Those are all those different men's spirits that's inside of these women, man. That's why they act like that, man. And then for the for the uh, the sons, the men, okay, being a mo, all right, that was frowned upon as well too, because that you know uh, that's a form of population control, man. If you don't realize that, man, all right, because if two men are together, if two women are together, all right, life cannot come forth from that, man, all right. And that's a that's an abomination to your Shim Yahweh Shab, which is why he forbid that, man. And these are things that we're supposed to be teaching our children. But these these modern day parents, they accept, you know, these different things, man. So much so to where, <laughs> hey, when I was young, man, you had a uh, you had a saying amongst Jake where it's like, you know, uh, would you rather have a whore daughter or a gay son, man? And not even realizing that in the Bible, both are frowned upon, man. You know, so you you had, you know, in the world, you know, you would have to make that make that choice of which was worse when they're both bad, man. But at the end of the day, this is why we, we don't, you know, uh, you know, we don't uh, uh, pretty much justify either because it's all wickedness, according to the Bible, which is why, once again, all right, Babylon, the great needs to be destroyed because they push this man, you know, and this is why the Lord told us. You know, that we, if it's possible not to have any children here, man, because having that, you know, take place is, is at, at the highest possibility ever now, man. Okay. Because the amount, of, uh, the amount of time you really get to spend with your children, you're, you know, uh, you're really leaving that up to Esau to indoctrinate them, man, because you got to work. The mother and the father both have to work. And so who has your children majority of the day? All right. The school system. And then when they get out, all right. All throughout the different media, uh, media platforms on the television, social media, movies, video games, that that agenda is being pushed heavy on these people, man. Okay, which how we know that's that's demons. All right. Romans one and twenty five. It says, "Who shall sorry, Who changed the truth of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai into a lie, and so, and worship and serve the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever Amen. Right. Who turned who, who turned the truth of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai into a lie? Esau, the devil, the so-called white man. Because all he had to do was label it as science, and he was able to, to make it to where this was accepted. When it's wickedness, man. Alright? Hold on real quick, man. It's getting hot. Let me crack the door. But at the end of the day, hey, Esau is the one that changed that to make that to where that's accepted now, man. All right, in the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, the ways of the Bible, that's that's uh, uh, old news. That's we're not in Bible time no more. You know that, you know that that shows that you know uh, people they they frown upon the Bible. Okay, it says for this cause Yahweh Bashim Yahshua gave them up unto vile affections, for even the women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Okay, women being with women, it says and likewise also the men. Leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust toward one another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was met right. And that's that, you know, that nastiness, you know, uh, that it, it leads to diseases, all right? Which is why STDs are at an all time high, because you got these uh, men and women double dipping, all right? Women messing with men, I mean, it's like women messing with women. And, and men messing with men, and then the men that's you know a uh, 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 chocolate dipping, they'll go and, and deal with the woman, and then that woman is still you know being active with other men, and so that that nastiness that you know she got with the man that was a uh, uh, double dipping, all right, she's giving the diseases to other men, all right, and then these women being whores, that's just helping spread the diseases even more too, man. So it's it's bad out here, man. All right, this is why I said, man, it's. At an all time high, man. All right. So, this is why it, Paul, when he gave that advice, you know, in 2nd Ezra 7, let me get that real quick.
pretty much, you know, if you not not to get a wife, man. If it's possible. Uh, Second Corinthians seven. I believe it's First Corinthians seven. Yeah, I think it's First Corinthians seven. So like it. Bear with me. Yeah, First Corinthians 7 and 27. It says, Art thou bound unto a wife? Seek not to be loosed. Art thou loose from a wife? Seek not a wife. Okay? Because we understand, you know, the different things that come, you know, uh, uh, with you know being and pretty much being with a woman man you know all this shit is pretty much a gateway to open up and to all this bullshit that we see going on right now man all right because esau wants it to wait to make it to where he wants everybody to be you know a mo all right he wants everybody to be whores man because this just furthers his agenda for confusion all right but you know uh end of the day we just got to get the fuck out of here, man. You know, that that's the end all be all, man. We got to get the fuck out of here, man. But, hey, if you, you know, burning, you know, the Lord, the Lord said it, you know, you get you a woman, man. You know, because, hey, man was not made to be alone, man. You know, so that, like, what Paul's saying is not a commandment. This is just a suggestion. Okay. It says, but I said, uh, 28. But if thou marry, thou hast not sinned. And if a virgin marry, she has not sinned. Nevertheless, such shall have trouble in the flesh, but I spare you. And that's the, that's that's why Paul admonished, you know, if you don't have a wife, don't look to get married. Because you're going to have that trouble in the flesh, man. And, and part of the tr uh, that trouble in the flesh outside of your, uh, your wife, you know, coming against you, you know. Hey, you having children. And those children, you know, become a, a burden unto you because you have that possibility of them coming out to be nasty like this, man. You know, which is really what this lesson is, is centered around, man. All right. So, hey, going back to Romans 1 and 26 again, it says, For this cause the Most High gave them up until vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burn in the lust toward one another, men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was met. And even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge, Yahweh Bashim Shah gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things with, which are not convenient. All right. And that's why at the end of the day, hey. We got to, like I said, get the fuck out of here because these people are, are, are possessed. You know, all these different pronouns that these, these people are coming up with, you know, which shows you they got demons because that you got uh, the one pronoun is uh, they, uh, they, them. And they literally tell you that that's legion, you know, because when you read the scriptures, they say, yeah, I'm not I'm not a he or she. I'm a they, them or we. Those are demons, man. Okay? Let me prove that, man. <laughs> this is Mark 5 and 9. And he asked them, this is dealing with the man that was possessed. All right? It says, and he asked him, what is thy name? And he answered, saying, "My name is Legion, for we are many." Right, and so that the, these people that that claiming that their uh, pronouns are are they them, all right? Hey, they're saying they them because they have uh, uh, multiple demons in them. When you when you look up Legion, Legion is like 
thousands of demons, if, if I'm not mistaken. My, my internet's not on my other phone, so I can't pull up the, the blue uh, concordance. But Legion is like thousands of demons. And these people, they have demons upon demons on them, man. All right? So when you when you watching these people operate, they literally are, are walking around possessed, man. And that's why they think what they're doing is, is cool, is normal, but it's not, man. Which is why Yahweh by Shemiah was shy, you know, gave the advice, you know, if, if you, you know, uh, if you can help it, don't have children here, man. Because a lot of these children were brought into the earth to be judged, man. Okay. Now the Lord, was, he'll have mercy on who he chooses to have mercy on. And, and we pray for you, Akium and you, Akwafium, that do have children. All right. That the Lord have mercy and deliver your children. All right, but for the good majority of these little nigglets out here, man, they're going to they're gonna die a horrible death, man, because they're they're wicked, man. You know, this is 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. That goes into being a moat. All right, for all you that, that want to discount the Old Testament, the laws are done away with. Well, this is the New Testament, and it tells you no no abusers of themselves with mankind, which when you look in the definition, it's, it means a homo. A, a homo. All right, you're not going to make it into the kingdom of heaven, okay? Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God, man. All right, but this is why we're constantly, you know, uh, uh, exhorting repentance because. Hey, as as crazy as that sounds, you're going to have some sodomites repent. All right. You know, the Lord can uh, can can take those demons off of you, you know, and he can have you, you know, uh, 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 believe. But at the end of the day, that's that's only a how about Shimei was shy if he chooses. So, you know, to, to deliver you from that, man. But at the end of the day, that lifestyle leads to death, man. All right. Which is once again. Why the Lord warned us not to uh not to have children here, man. All right. That's just another uh uh a chain that Satan, you know, can can put upon you to bind you to this world. Because like hey, some people can't can't uh uh pretty much, you know, cut the uh, the children off, especially you especially you women, man. And they be the main ones pushing that when well, you gotta still love them, they're your child. Hey, fuck that. If you choose to go that route, you're gonna be and that boat, just like how that woman was doing, uh, that, that that girl, man. You got to get the fuck out. You got to cut them off, man. All right? Scriptures tell you, you can't uh, hey, hey, you can't be unequally yoked with unbelievers, man. You can't be, you know, uh, cool with no fucking sodomite, man. And that that's just what it is, man. You know? The Lord's going to destroy them. Jeremiah 16 and 1. The word of the Lord came also unto me, saying, Thou shalt not take thee a wife, neither shalt thou have sons or daughters in this place. And that's that's this is one of the reasons why the Lord said that, man. All right, because hey, they they're gonna be you know uh, uh, into this world. They're gonna you know take on the philosophies of this world, and and, and look at you and your how about Shimei was shot with contempt because you don't want to uh, adhere to the to the modern day you know uh, uh, ways of doing things, man. Okay. It says, "For thus saith the Lord concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this place." And concerning their mothers that bear them, and concerning their fathers that begot them in this land, they shall die of grievous deaths. All right, and a lot of these people were, were are, are being born into this world to die. All right, it says they shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine, and their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven. And for the beasts of the earth, right? So the Lord brought them into this world to be judged for their wickedness, man. So he allowed those demons to get on them for the purpose of judgment, man. All right. But this is why, all right, if you have the ability to pretty much, you know, uh, uh, train up your children, all right, in the ways of the Lord, if you're able to when they're young. That way they have a better chance out here. But still, at the end of the day, it's all on the Lord if he wants them to get it or not, man, you know. But at least you 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 told them because hey once they uh once they hit puberty, all right, and and they're uh they're they're 
at the age where now they're, they're held responsible for the law or for keeping the law, then that's on them at that point, man. And you got to just wash your hands if they choose not to go in the way of the Lord, man. But at the end of the day, you can't have the ties to them at that point because, hey, that, that could be a hindrance to your walk, man. All right? Let me get that real quick. And that's for men and women, man. All right? Uh, let me see. Salakia. Let's forsake not mother or father. That's in Matthew. Yeah, Matthew chapter 10, verse 35. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law and a man's foe shall be they of his own household. All right. The most trouble you're going to get is your family. All right. That's that division. The Lord is, set, is setting up and he's pretty much separating the righteous from the wicked. And so when you come in this truth, the main resistance you're going to get is from your family members, man. All right. Your mother, your father, your, your, your siblings, your children. You know. It says he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me, okay? And this is why at the end of the day, hey, if they choose not to walk in the ways of the Lord, man, you got to just wash your hands with them, all right? Hey, deal with them accordingly, man, okay? But at the end of the day, you can't allow them to hinder you from doing the work, man, from believing, all right? So like I said, if you're able to, you know, you teach them when they're young and, and Lord willing, they stick to it as they, you know, uh, grow in this world, man. But Lord willing, all right, we're in a time to where Yahweh by Shimei is about to deliver us out of this shit. So we ain't got to deal with this no more, man. All right? Because their children are supposed to be a gift. But hey, when, when you find out that you, uh, you know, you're about to have a child, man, hey, you, you get a level of grief because now you have to try to protect your children from the evils of this world, man. And that's, that's a, a, a burden on you, man. All right? So this is Proverbs 22 and 6. It says, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. All right. And that's that's why the Lord, you know, uh, set up the, the beautiful, you know, arrangement of the house, man. All right. The, the, the man, the woman and then the children. All right. The man sets the foundation of the house. All right. The woman. All right. She she's supposed to be the nurturer to bring up, you know, uh, and, and nurture the children in that foundation. The man set up for the house. All right. And then when the children are old enough, they, they repeat the cycle. All right. To their children. OK. But like I said, in this society, man, a hey, parents, a hey, parents are put at, at odds with the children, man. All right. Like it says in the Willie Lynch letter, man. All right. To, to further cause that division. All right. To keep, you know, the house of uh, Israel, you know, pretty much uh, uh, scattered, man. All right. So, let's, you know, finish this out. This is Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 16. It says, as for the children of adulterers, they shall not come to their perfection and the seed of an unrighteous bed shall be rooted out. Right. All these wicked people that's bringing forth children. OK, hey, they're all them and the children are going to be destroyed, man. OK, it says for that, for though they live long, yet shall they not suck like, yet shall they be nothing regarded and their last age shall be without honor or if they die quickly. They have no hope, neither comfort in the day of trial, for horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation. Right. So at the end of the day, man, these people are going to enjoy their, uh, get to enjoy their children. All right. Like they uh, like they want, man. And, and that's why the Lord, you know, uh, he, he, he had admonished us, man. If it's possible, man, don't grow. Don't have children here, man. But this is going for the wicked. All right. Because we know that the wicked, their seed line is going to be wiped out from the earth, man. All right. So. This is why you see, you know, these different tragic stories of, you know, uh, people's children being judged and, and, you know, these different, you know, horrible ways, man. But that's the judgment. All right. You know, from, the, uh, you know, the wickedness being passed down from the parents, man. All right. Because like I said, man, children are supposed to be a blessing. All right. That, that's that's a, a gift from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. This is Psalms 127 and 3. 
Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. All right? Because that's a gift from Yahweh by Shema Shah. If you, if you, you know, uh, read the, the old stories that we have in the uh, in the scriptures, okay, a, a children were, were, you know, they were a big deal back then, man. Okay? A women literally would, would pray to get pregnant. And when they didn't have children, man, they... They were shamefaced, man. All right, a, a man wanted children so that he could forward his legacy. Mainly the sons, but daughters were still, you know, uh, a gift as well, man. All right, but children are, are, you know, are a gift from the Lord, man. That's supposed to be, you know, a, a thing of joy when you find out that you're uh, with child, man. But now it's looked at as fuck, man. You know, when you when you see that when you see that goddamn uh, pregnancy test, man. Hey, your your whole mood drops, man. Because now, hey, reality sets in and you got to deal with everything that's going to come with that, man. All right. But at the end of the day, it's still a gift from the Lord. It says, as arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are his children of the youth. Happy is the man that have his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Right. Because, hey, a man. All right. That has many children, man. That's a that's a blessing from the Lord, man. All right, and hey, as a man, you should be able to go forth and spread your seed all throughout the world. That's why the Lord gave man, you know, uh, uh, the ability to have multiple women, multiple wives, man. All right, it's not for the whole the the sole purpose of just being able to, to bust a nut in all these women. No, it's it's about being able to forge your legacy, man. All right, having a bunch of children. All right, that was beneficial for the man. All right, for the woman too, but for the man because your a hey, your children are an extension of you. All right, Deuteronomy twenty eight and four. It says, "Blessed shall the fruit, blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep." Right. That's why hey, the majority of us that don't have children. And we're, we're, we're waiting for the kingdom. Like I said, man, if you can help it, hey, when, when you're doing your thing, man, don't don't get lost in the motion of the ocean, man. All right? Hey, you got to, you know, know when to dismount. <laughs> but, hey, we're, we're waiting for the kingdom, man. Okay? Because in the kingdom, you're going to be able to enjoy your children a, a, a hundredfold, man. All right? No worries or nothing happening to them, man. And that's what we seek after, man. That's, that's, that's when we, you know... Uh, that's when we're going to be able to, to pretty much have no worries, man. All right. Have as many children as you want, man. You know, hey, uh, in this society, you have more than one, man. Hey, that that that's, you know, that's looked at as, as more money. You got, you know, uh, 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 allocate all right, diapers, food, you know, another mouth to feed. And the kingdom, we ain't going to be worried about that, man. All right. You hey, your children are going to be good because we're, we're going to be royalty, man. They're going to be royalty, man. Your women. Hey, you women, you're going to be royalty, man. All right? The whole nation of Israel as a whole is going to be blessed, man. And we ain't going to have worries about our children, all right, you know, becoming moles, getting snatched up by some damn some predator, man. All right? Being preyed upon by these damn, uh, these devils, you know, uh, uh, children, yeah, your child, the possibility of getting snatched up and never being seen again, man. All that's going, all the worries are going to be done away with, man. All right? Isaiah 8, 11 and 8. And the sucking child shall play on the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the cockatrice's den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Right. So your children are going to be able to do whatever. All right. Play with, you know, all type of poisonous, dangerous animals and not have to, uh, to worry about getting uh, attacked or, 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 or hurt. All right. They're going to be able to wander out. And pretty much explore the earth and not have anything to worry about, man. Because, hey, the Lord's going to be with his people again, man. And that's what we long for, man. That's why we want the kingdom, man. All right? Because that's one of the things we we long for, man, is to have children. All right? But we can't enjoy them on this side. So this is why we want the kingdom, man. So with that, I pray the lesson was edifying. I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone that taught me this truth and that rule well. And peace and salutation unto the elect. Until next time I say shalom.